The purpose of life is to utilize our brief time in this world to study Buddhism. It is to seek liberation from the endless cycle of birth and death, so-called samsara. If there were no afterlife and death means nothingness, there would be no retribution or reward, no causation of the past, present, and future, no transmigration in the six realms, heavens, asuras, humans, animals, ghosts, and hells. There would be no need to study Buddhism. We should by all means enjoy our lives thoroughly. However, such is not the case with life and the universe. Karmic retribution, causation, and the cycle of rebirth all exist. Over innumerable eons, we have performed good and evil deeds. They determine whether our next life will be spent as a human, animal, hungry ghost, in a hell, or in a heaven. The probability of rebirth in a celestial realm is extremely small, and even human form is hard to gain. That is why Shakyamuni Buddha said that rebirth as a human is rare. That is to say, it would be hard to be a human again in our coming lives. Does that mean we would likely be reborn in the three wretched realms? Indeed, it does. Going by the law of causation, wholesome actions may lead to rebirth in the heavens, while unwholesome deeds could induce birth in a hell domain. These are the principles behind karmic consequences of past, present, and future, as well as rebirth in the six realms. The principles are the bedrock of Buddhism, which then teaches ways to transcend this cycle of rebirth. Without such a foundation, there can be no Buddhism. When we speak the Dharma, we must emphasize its fundamentals. Otherwise, it would be a deviation from Buddhism. The principles are the foundation of Buddhism, of the Dharma. Because samsara exists, and its essence is suffering and unease, leaving it behind means liberation from suffering. What is there after such liberation? Things would be beautiful and marvelous, as we would no longer be subject to rebirth in the six realms and all types of suffering. We would be forever healthy and long-lived. Such longevity would be eternal transcending time. Thank you. Namo Amitabha Buddha.